Hi everyone, this is Fertilands. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am very, very, very excited. Finally, after a battle with bots and people online with the help of some Twitter folk, El Babins and P PS5 Restocks Canada, join them if you want a PS5 for yourself. I was able to secure a PS5 for myself. And uh, this was from the last Walmart drop that happened and I was lucky enough to get the PS5 bundle with an extra controller and the extra controller is the Midnight Black one. So super excited because that's brand new and it has a Ratchet and Clank game. Now I did open up the, the box that it was shipped in but um, as soon as I cut the tapes I was like you know what I need to make a video of this. I've been looking forward to getting this console now for such a long time. Honestly, I thought by summer of 2021, this console would be on store shelves. I could just easily walk into, you know, my local Best Buy or Walmart and get one. But that has not been the case, so I had to join Twitter. You can follow me there. It's uh, same name as my channel, Fertilance underscore X. But exciting time now, let's go ahead with the unboxing. So, like I said, I cut the tape for the other box already, but I opened it and I closed it immediately. I was like, no, need to make a video of this. It's a, it's a, it's a great time to be a gamer. Alrighty, first and foremost, the Midnight Black controller. There it is, guys. Now, me personally, I do like the white console and the white controller, the two-tone. Um, you can take a look at my current uh, TV and the you know, console setup. I will turn the camera around for you to see. Uh, but uh, you know, my current PS4 is white as well, as you can uh, take a look at it. And uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. I like white color, so why not? So midnight black. Put that on the side. Ah, the Ratchet and Clank, the game that's going to take advantage of the PS5 SSD. Cannot wait, but first I do think I'm going to try the uh, the game that comes with the console, which is the, oh, what's it called? Astro's Playroom for the DualSense, basically kind of showing off what DualSense can do. So very excited for that, and uh, we'll check it out. But moving on to the main thing, put the game. Side. All the packing. All right. Oh boy, this is heavy. Okay, give me one second, guys. I'm not in the frame. Take the box out and everything. Okay. Thank you. My dear wife is helping me with this, so thanks again for the help. Sorry, you have to see my ugly arms, but uh, alrighty. Now, I think we can just cut this tape and take it out. Oh, before anything, we can go around the box and take a look. So, well, as you can see, this is a disc version of the console. I do love my discs. 8K, I think that's more for movie watching or videos and stuff. 4K 120 gaming. It's kind of iffy on that. Most of the games that are out, at least for now, are taking it's mostly like 4K 60, uh, HDR, good. Uh, around the other side, just a picture of the console. On the back, you know, the, I guess just uh, mentioning the, the features of it. Me personally, I do like the design and uh, like I haven't held the console in my hand before, so it's going to be interesting to see what it feels like when it's in your own hands, how big it is. That's what everyone says, it's very, very big, so it'll be interesting. I can do a size comparison with my PS4, which will be, I guess, it'll be interesting as well. 825 gigabytes of storage, you know. So, okay, let's, uh, let's go on. The tapes, not cut. All right, sir. Ah, the old Sony box within a box thing, eh? Wait, there's one more lid here. No. 
Oh, my gee, you know, I'm gonna put it down on the side. Alrighty. Ah, yes, the good old box within a box thing. You gotta love Sony for this crap. Definitely not environmentally friendly. I mean, just use the main box, guys. You don't need to double pack this thing, but, you know. Alrighty. This should be a box here. Ah, the trusty manuals. What would we do without these? How would we ever figure them out, right? Nobody cares about them. We all know what we're doing. We got a power cord, very important. Put that on the side. Aha! Sony and their new console base stand that you gotta use to basically use the console either to hold it vertically, I guess like this, or the other way around, if you wanna put it on the side, I guess. So, very interesting, we'll see how this works out. Gotta love that uh, Japanese engineering. And what else, we got the HDMI 2.1 cable, capable of 4K 120. Perfect. Um, really, really excited to test this stuff out because my current PS4 not all good at running stuff. Gotta be honest, guys. Ho ho ho! This is exciting, guys. The Dual Sense controller. Oh, I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these babies. No, but you know, let me just close this box up a little bit so I can put my hands down. Oh. Oh, the button feels so good. Now I've seen videos of people online saying that these little indentations show the PlayStation control button. Sorry guys, I'm gonna take the controller out so I can view this a little bit closer myself. I gotta be honest, I think I'm going blind because I can't see them. Maybe my eyes are bad, but these just look like normal indentations. I thought these were supposed to be like little X's, circles, square, and triangles. But no, I mean like this surface right here, like it just, it's, it's, um, the texture it feels like it's, it's bumpy because of, you know, the grip and stuff. I thought it was supposed to be like the, the control buttons like here, but it doesn't look like it. I'll probably take a look at it in a better light, but overall feel of the controller, it's much thicker than the than the, the DualShock 4 for the PS4. The buttons feel very nice. The thumb pad or the touch pad, very nice. Ah, excellently turned it on, pressing the PS button and Oh, these are very smooth. Much smoother, I want to say, than my DualShock 4 controllers. Could be they're just new, but I have a brand new DualShock 4 because my other one broke. We got the adaptive triggers. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. I mean, I'm one of those guys who, like, when I'm playing, like, a first-person shooter game, like Call of Duty and stuff, I change, like, the, the aim downside and shooting to this. Um, cause that's how I was used to doing it with the, with my PS3. Uh, I didn't play a lot of shooter games on my PS4, so, but when I did, I mean, that's what I did. I would just go into button assignments and change the bumpers to like the L1 and R1 for aim down and shoot. But it'll be interesting to see, like, I mean, these, uh, these adaptive triggers are supposed to, you know, change based on the weapon you're using and how the developers take advantage of that. It'll be interesting to see. I, I'm, 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 that's why I want to give a try to the the game that comes with the console, which is uh, Astro's Playroom. 
because it's supposed to basically show off this particular feature plus the the haptics with it right so but feel wise it's a genuinely solid controller much it feels heavier than my DualShock 4 I could be wrong but definitely is much bigger a lot of people said it compares to the Xbox controller which I do have to say I agree with so it'll be interesting to see when I play with this thing so hopefully a much better battery life with this thing alrighty now enough delays Let's see if there's anything else in here oh charger for the DualSense controller so yeah that's good I'll probably unbox the the, the midnight black one as well after this but uh, Oh, I can't hold my excitement. I gotta go for the big thing now, guys. Okay, hold this to the side here. Oh, the big boy itself. Okay. I gotta lie down to make this a little bit better for me, I guess. Careful, baby. Careful. You gotta be careful with this. Oh. That's a lot of money I spent on this thing. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. Oh, 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 oh. I'm excited, guys. I am excited. Alrighty. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, guys. This thing is huge. This thing is huge, guys. Imagine lights coming down from heaven. Angel voices singing in the background. This is huge guys. This is very big. Very beautiful. I I love it. I love the design. I I was a little skeptical before receiving it. Obviously there's only so many videos that you can see in person I like you know there's only so many videos that you can see of it um, but to have it in my hand here and now like you know just thinking about it this thing is first of all is big it's very big it is beautiful 100% I there is no doubt about it I know all the memes with you know with how it looks like it has a collar and it looks like a router or a modem yeah but it's beautiful like the shiny gloss part i mean yeah it's gonna be a fingerprint magnet probably gonna get a lot of dust on it my wife hates that because she is a bit fanatic about cleaning like the like the entertainment center like she does not like dust on it at all so it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare, but you know what? I love it. Let me just remove all of these pieces of stuff out here. Okay. A very heavy console indeed. Very beautiful console indeed. I am super excited. Let's put the stand on it. How is it stand supposed to be? I think um, that's one thing I gotta check. Um, maybe the guide had it. Well, I threw the guides away thinking that I don't bloody need them, but I want to know how to put on the stand, I guess, at least. Maybe I'll check a video out afterwards, but. Uh, have it yeah okay so let's see so this position is supposed to be for when the console is straight this is not gonna be straight because my entertainment center doesn't have space for 
me to stand the console up unless I put it behind my TV which I don't want to do it's a beautiful console so I want to put it where it needs to be now as far as I remember correctly yeah so behind the console right here are these uh, there's a demarcation of like little square triangle X's uh, basically show where you need to put the stand on so that is what we're gonna do right now give me one second I'll probably be out of frame for this one I just want to make sure I do this right and I definitely am not doing this right ah uh, yeah there it is ta-da looks good guy I mean, I, it's definitely a big console. Like it's, like I'm not a big guy at all. Like I'm like five seven, so you can see the size of my hand with the rest of the console. This thing's big, right? I mean, check the controller out. This is a big console. Uh, let's open up the Midnight Black um, controller up as well, because uh, I want to make sure that you got. I, I want to make sure I get all of this in one video. And then um, I think we'll stop the video there. I'll set this thing up, give it a try, and uh, put up a little bit of a review video, I guess. I'm gonna cut the tape on the main console box. I should have done the same here as well, but no problem. Okay, a million little things falling out. Sorry guys, if I'm unboxing it outside of the frame, my apologies. My wife keeps on waving at me like a maniac, telling me that um, I am not in the frame. Still new to this whole YouTube thing, so hope you guys forgive me. Damn it, man, this box does not want to come out. Come on. Come on! Oh, got it. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if they included like a... Uh, charging cable with this thing going on. Let's go. I don't think they do this. Just a thought. Alrighty. Whoa. I gotta say, the, the Midnight Black one? Damn it, guys. All those idiots online saying that the Midnight Black one is better? I think they're right. Shit. I thought I was gonna love the white one more, but... Uh, Gotta be honest, the, the black one, it looks much nicer. <laughs> because yeah, the white isn't exactly like, it's not like, it's 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 not pure white. It has, uh, to my eyes, and I'm looking at it in, in like a white light. I mean, that's the light that I have in my room. It looks a little, it's giving off a hueish blue. A bluish hue. Ugh, sorry, can't even talk. A bluish hue. This, it has a two-tone black, one's shiny, the other like this, this is all matte. This looks very nice. But I gotta be honest, like both, both of these controllers look very, very good. But as you can see, both of them in person. This is my bundle. Oh, where should I put the name? I should, should I put the name here now? Uh -huh. Okay, 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 it's not gonna come. Nope. There we go. This is my bundle. Get the boxes away. Probably gonna use this as my thumbnail for the video. Super excited, guys. I will set this up. I will let you all know what it's like. I'm gonna love it. I'm sure one day um, any of you who don't have it are gonna love it as well. And those of you who already have had it and are enjoying it, I hate you all. I hate you all because I wanted one for myself back in November, but I couldn't, I didn't, I thought I'd be able to get it one easily, but nonetheless, all of that is in the past. I have one, I'll see you guys next time, leave any comments or suggestions in the comment section below, and I'll see you all later. Take care guys, bye.